Hello guys, welcome to Motivation Medicos. I am Dr. Aditi Trivedi, final year resident in the Department of Radiology. Today we are going to talk about something which has taken the entire world by the storm. Yes, it is none other than the SARS-CoV-2 virus. We, everybody around us is in a diagnostic dilemma that whether to rely upon the radiological findings of the SARS-2 COVID virus or the RT-PCR. What is RT-PCR basically? The RT-PCR is known as a reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction which is taken in the form of nasal swab. It is accepted as the most reliable, rapid and precise method for the diagnosis of the novel COVID-2 virus. According to a study which was conducted in Wuhan in February 2020, the most sensitive mode for the diagnosis of COVID-19 is first of all the bronchoalveolar lavage followed by the nasal swab that is the RT-PCR. But we all know how contagious the virus is. So what about the downtime when it takes about one to two days for the report to come? What happens? The patient goes back to his home and infects so many people around them. Under such circumstances, we all have clubbed the diagnosis of COVID-19 into four main categories. That is first of all, the clinical symptoms. Secondly, his, bio, uh, his blood findings. Thirdly would be his radiological investigations or radiological findings and fourth will be his RT-PCR swab. Going first of all in his clinical symptoms, the most common symptoms which, were, uh, which was observed in patients of COVID-19 would be fever, weakness, loss of appetite and dry cough. Other symptoms are loss of taste. Second most common, most widely used method for diagnosis would be his blood findings which includes elevated C-reactive protein, elevated ferritin and elevated D-dimer level. Now since I am a radiology resident, I would like to stress more upon the radiological findings. First of all, the two main modalities which are used in COVID-19 would be the most cheapest, the normal plain chest x-ray PA view followed by the HRCT. What is HRCT? It is nothing but it is high resolution CT scan of the chest in which you are placed in a CT scan machine and sections are taken and then studied. What are the most common findings in COVID-19? It is nothing but bilateral, multifocal and peripheral GGO. What is GGO? GGO is nothing but it is the ground glass opacification. If I were to explain this to a layman, it would be that the normal air spaces of your lung are filled or it is filled by some inflammatory reaction or soft tissue but not to the extent that it actually obscures your vessel. And the typical finding of COVID-19 is this kind of GGO most commonly affects the peripheral and multifocal lesions of both lungs. The second most common finding would be the increased vascular attenuation. What does vascular attenuation basically mean? It means that the normal vessels of your lung, they are more pronounced. The third most common finding would be traction bronchiectasis. What is traction bronchiectasis? Bronchiectasis is nothing but it is abnormal dilatation of your bronchioles. Besides this, there are many other findings which include pleural effusion, nodules, consolidation, etc. And going into it many atypical findings as well. Furthermore, the radiologists have uh, taken a score which is used in reporting all throughout the world which is known as a CORAD score. CORAD 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Among this, the CORAD 5 is regarded as highly and highly almost positive of COVID-19. The second modality which is often ignored is nothing but the chest x-ray. It has been widely accepted by radiologists all throughout the globe that the chest x-ray is a very inferior modality for the diagnosis of COVID-19 and it is one of the good modalities which can be used for follow-up of the disease in different stages but not for the initial diagnosis. Now comes the debatable part whether the HRCD chest should be preferred or the RT-PCR we all know that the RT-PCR is the most rapid, reliable and the sensitive method for diagnosis of COVID-19. So why we should go for HRCT? We know that in our country, transportation and uh, we all know that HRCT is very, very costly. Then why, sh why everybody prescribes HRCT? Why is it so important? Guys, the answer is time. HRCT, you can just 
take an HR CT and you can get the result in 15 minutes that yes, this patient is highly suspicious of COVID-19. But recently, the RT-PCR, it takes around one to two days. We all know that COVID-19 is a highly, highly contagious disease and even that we cannot afford to lose that one day because in that one day, the patient will go to his home and infect millions of people. So, if your RT-PCR is negative and if you are clinically as well as on radiological findings you are very very suspicious for COVID-19 then you need to take the treatment you are considered as positive because in the study which was conducted in Wuhan the sensitivity of RT-PCR to detect COVID-19 was only 63 percent and the sensitivity of the HRCT chest was as close to as 93 percent what is sensitivity and what is specificity? Sensitivity means that a diagnostic test will correctly identify all those who have the disease. And specificity basically means the ability of a test to diagnose correctly all those who do not have the disease. So the HRCT chest is very good in diagnosing all those who have the disease. Yet it may give positive results to some, many of those who actually don't have COVID-19. Whereas the RT-PCR, it may actually give negative results to many who do have the disease. So that is even more dangerous. So that is why along with RT-PCR, the clinicians throughout the world, throughout the globe have accepted HRCT as a very, very integral part in the diagnosis and management of COVID-19, which will never be ignored. Thank you guys for watching this video. For more videos, you can follow me on my Instagram profile. Thank you.